and rolling. I'm Casey Affleck for PETA. You know, I became vegan like 12 years ago, and um, then it was kind of tough to find places to eat where I could get vegan food, and it was really, really hard to find places to like buy shoes or belts or just clothes in general that didn't have some wool or some uh, silk or cashmere or leather or whatever it was. I mean, there are more and more places, and I drive down the street all the time, and I see something, you know, vegan gory or vegan this or vegan that, and I think, wow, it's another vegan restaurant. And I'm always amazed that I don't think, like, how are they going to stay in business? I mean, it's just six of us. But it kind of turns out that there are not six of us, that there are like millions and there are more and more of us and that there are a lot of young people that are have access to the information that, to, that would make them want to become vegetarian. I was married in shoes that I bought at Payless and um, uh, a fake leather belt and um, it's um, become a whole lot easier, just be, mostly because of the internet. I would say that you don't have to be necessarily a crusader, even if it seems overwhelming to you, and that you can just start by um, making little changes in your own life. You can start by eating less meat. You can start by not eating dairy. You can do things that are healthy for you. And if they want to become totally vegan eventually, um, I think they would find that it was like a really uh, healthy lifestyle, and they would you know, see that they felt the difference immediately in their body. and. Um, that um, that would be great, but the, any little thing that they want to do would would be um, a big help, and for themselves as well as for animals everywhere. All the videos that the wonderful people at PETA make that I see online and on TV uh, resonate with me each and every time I watch them. I have um, a movie called The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford that should be out um, in the, uh, this winter. And then a movie called Gone Baby Gone um, that will be following that probably like in the summer. And then I'll be doing some undercover work in some um, factory farms around the country. Mm. I look forward to that. <laughs>